Hello and welcome to what is a variable. By the end of this video, you'll have an understanding of what variables are and how they can be used in designing games. All right, so you learned about variables in grade school, x equals five and y equals two, and how fast does Johnny have to run before the train arrives, all the blah, blah, blah. Variables are like containers we put things in, and we have containers that match the thing we put in it. Like you have a container for your sugar and you only put sugar in it. Then you have a salt container and you only put salt in it. In Unity, there are different types of values we can use to build games, and each has their own special container. There are 17 different types of values to be exact. We could find them in this list right here. Float, int, bool, game object, string, vector2, vector3, color, rect, material, texture, sprite, audio clip, qu 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 quaternion, quaternion, object, array, enum. And yeah, you guessed it. A game object variable would hold a game object. So what are variables used for? Let's take a classic asteroid shooter game and find out. First off, variables have names, like score, and they have values that change over time. They are variable, as in subject to variation or changes. Kind of like how the score goes up when the player shoots an asteroid. Other variables might have something like lives. And you could do things like check if the score goes over a thousand and add a life when it does or remove a life every time the player crashes, and getting game over when the player has zero lives. As a game dev, you'll start to see variables everywhere. So in this video, we learned that variables are containers for values, that we give them names like score and lives, and that the values of variables can change over time. In the next video, we'll see how to use variables in Playmaker. Be sure to check out our other videos to learn all the various features of Playmaker. Links to more learning resources are in the description.